So, I am documenting my workout today, and this is what I'm looking like. I am trying to get, lose more fat, I'm trying to lose mostly here, um, but yeah, this is where I'm at so far, and I decided that I'm going to do this on my own every day, I'm going to keep moving and do at least 20 to 30 minutes of a workout, an intermittent fast. Um, I have been incorporating a lot of weights um, with my workout because I want to tone. Um, but today I'm just going to do like a full cardio routine. So wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Y'all, I finished the three mile workout and I am drenched. Okay, I am drenched. I'm about to have some tea and then take a shower. I did it. I did it. Workout complete. Y'all, I am drenched. That was uh, for my walk. I am super drenched in sweat. It felt so good. I'm doing it, y'all. I'm trying to eat better, I'm trying to eat more home cooked meals, not eating out, and at least working out once a day. It's not easy. This fufa. I'll take some time but I did it hey guys good morning so I am dressed for work and I am I don't know this morning I'm just like thinking about where I should have been in my pregnancy and you know I um I still have Facebook Messenger. I don't have Facebook. And, like, I guess through the Messenger, you can still see some stories. So, I kind of looked through some stories. And I saw, like, an old high school, um, this guy that I went to high school with, you know. I know him and his girlfriend that got married a couple years ago, like, a year ago. And she's pregnant. And, like, her pregnancy looks like where I should have been in my pregnancy. And it's just like, damn. Um, damn. You know, it's like I, I lost mine. And... I'm so happy for everybody else and you know children are a blessing being an educator and dealing with children every day I know how much of a headache <laughs> and a blessing they can be at the same time so I'm just you know pastor my pastor this weekend just said to keep pushing forward um and to not look back and I know that I can't change the fact that my baby's not here anymore I can't change the fact that I had a miscarriage and I can't change the fact that I put on all this weight and, you know, it happens and all I can do is to continue pushing forward. So, you know, I think every time I step on the scale and I don't see myself losing a pound, I'm like, it sucks. And then every time I, every month that I'm not pregnant, it's like, it sucks. But I know that if I give up now, I'll never know and I'll never get to where I need to be. So I'm not giving up. I just have that day, those moments where I just wonder why. And I just feel like God is <laughs> really pushing me um, to a different level of faith. But I'm here for it. And I know that in life, we are all struggling with something, um, whatever that is. And I just watch the people around me and yes, they are, we are all blessed in our own way, but we are all going through things. And I think these specific things that we're going through is what we need in order to increase our faith and to know that God is real. So I know that he's real and I know that he is going to provide and I can't wait to get to that end result and tell my story and hopefully inspire someone else that may go through what I'm going through. So I'm just hoping, high hopes for this month. I've been really active 
changing my diet, you know, eating, not eating junk food a lot, making sure that I'm cooking at home, um, making sure that I'm working out. I just ordered a Fitbit to just make sure that I got my steps in, drinking a lot of water. I don't drink any juice. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now today. I just wanted to check in and just share how I was feeling. Um, and I'm documenting this because this whole journey, the weight loss, the miscarriage, because I want to go back and be able to see how far I've come. And when I do get to hold my baby in my arms, it's going to be a blessing looking back and just to show my child how much he or she is loved even before they even got here. My previous pregnancy, I loved that child so much. And if I could have done anything to save his life, I would have. But there would have been no life with him without me. So I made the best decision I could. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive and know that my rainbow baby is coming and I am double blessed because I have a baby in heaven that is just looking over us and it's going to be watching for us and that's, that's my angel forever and I know that he's up there protecting his mom. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. Enough with the deers. <laughs> Morning, guys. I'm in my bathroom. But um, today's a better day. Um, I am down another pound. I would say two pounds because it was 179.1. So, like, 0.1 to get me to 170. So, I'm going to say I'm 170. I'm going to clean it now. So, I am, like, close to pre-pregnancy weight. But I feel like pre-pregnancy weight, I was, I was more muscular. <laughs> So once I hit that, I probably hit up, if we're not pregnant, I probably hit up my trainer, but I'm, I'm hoping for pregnancy. Um, but I would hit my trainer to start doing some weight training. But the thing is, when I do get pregnant and then after the pregnancy, I will know what to do to lose the weight. So I'm super excited. This is what your girl is looking like. These are a pair of jeans or maybe these I have not been able to fit since I was um, pregnant, so I'm so excited to be back into these jeans. My hair is looking good, y'all. You can't tell me good things ain't coming for my future. Here's my thing. We all go through tough times. We all have tough situations, but remember, there's no such thing as a bad life. There's no such thing as a bad day. We just have bad moments, but we gotta keep pushing forward. And if you give up, you will never know if you're gonna make it to that end result. So you gotta keep trying and keep trying. And trust me, 99% of the time, you're gonna make it. Have a good day, y'all. All right, y'all, day six of working out. Your girl is down one pound. I see the difference today do you see a little difference you see a little difference with girl with joe and mostly what i know it's all in your diet so it's all in what you eat and making sure that you stay active um i bought myself a little fitbit because my apple watch acting crazy and i refuse to spend 200 dollars on another apple watch so i'm gonna just take that one to the store and get it fixed but in the meantime i ordered this fitbit and let's see how it does. I'm going to do a workout um, before I go out to eat tonight. I am going out tonight. What did I eat today? I had a salad, I had a Chobani yogurt, some fruit. And then I came home and made a turkey burger with two pieces of strawberry. That's really it. So I do have some calories left for tonight. I'm going to try... To be decent i am going to be eating past my fasting time but that'll just mean that tomorrow i'll just have to fast a lot longer which is fine because it's a lot easier for me to fast longer on the weekends for some reason the time just goes by really fast so enough rambling day six your girl is in here. Here, here i think i'm gonna lose like 10 more pounds and that'll get me to like 169 and then i'm gonna start picking up the weights again all right
Okay, y'all, so I am back another day. Yesterday, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday I went walking, so yesterday was a walking day. The day before I worked out on my own and I lifted weights and I think that was a mistake. I should have never lifted the weights because as soon as I lift some weights, I'm telling you, I don't see any, um, I don't lose any pounds and I'm trying to lose pounds before I start gaining muscle again because I'm just comfortable with the way I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get pregnant. I'm trying to do it all. But um, I'm comfortable with the weight that I was previously. Um, I was 175, but I was mostly muscles. So I had dropped myself down to like 160. And then I started picking up the weight. So my goal is to get down to possibly 170, 165-ish. And then pick back up the weights because... And I know... It's good to do weight training because you do burn a lot of fat, lose inches. But I want the scale to go down. Like, I, I still want the scale to go down. So, yes, I'm back. I'm about to do a 20-minute hit cardio. And then I'm going to do a glute workout with Grow With Gel. Because I need my butt to, um, yeah, I still need the butt at the same time. So, let's get going. <laughs> 